Well, hi there, Internet. My name's Court, and you've got courtside seats for my review of Mile 22. Rhyming is fun. Mile 22 is an action-adventure crime film from director Peter Berg and STX Films. The movie stars Marky Mark, but the funky bunch are nowhere to be seen. Rude, Lauren Cohen, Iko Uwais, John Malkovich, Ronda Rousey, and Carlo Albin. An elite American intelligence officer aided by a top-secret tactical command unit tries to smuggle a mysterious police officer with sensitive information out of the country. This movie is not getting very good reviews, and unfortunately it's not gonna get a good one from me. I liked the trailer, I was looking forward to this movie, and despite the fact that it had a few cool moments and some amazing fight choreography, this movie is a sloppy mess. I'm generally not a fan of Mark Wahlberg, but he is not the problem with this movie. He's actually pretty good. Other than the fact that his character is a complete hole, And not in the fun to watch kind of way, more in the I can't get invested in this movie because I hate the protagonist kind of way. He's just a to his team all the time, often for no good reason. I liked Lauren Cohen in the movie, she's badass. Ronda Rousey was fine, I guess. I love John Malkovich, he doesn't really have much to do in this movie. And Iko Uwais was pretty good. Uh, most of his character is just either looking sullen or amazing hand-to-hand -hand combat, more on that later. Now, Mark Wahlberg's character has this thing where his mind moves faster than everybody else. And to deal with it, he has an elastic band on his wrist that he snaps. Now, it's no big deal at first, but then it keeps happening and happening and eventually becomes incredibly obnoxious. Now, if it had added anything practical to the story, I could have been down with it, but it didn't. It's just kind of there. And the writing is awful. The, the dialogue is really cliche, and there is so much swearing in this movie. I'm not offended by swearing. I have a filthy mouth. And if it's organic, it's fine. But in this movie, it was like they were trying to meet a f quota. It's like the screenwriter thought she was being edgy, by swearing. The biggest problem with this movie, though, is the camera work and the editing. I mentioned Iko Uwais has some, like, incredible hand-to-hand -hand combat, which would be great if you could see it, which occasionally you can, but mostly you can't. It's all shot super tight, edited super fast, and with all the shaky cam that you can imagine. Now, I don't hate shaky cam. Like jump scares, I think it has its place. But you have to know when to use it effectively and when not to use it. And when you have a guy like Eco Uwais, who is so talented at combat, in your movie, let us see what the guy can do. There were whole fight scenes where I was like, I don't know what's happening, and I don't know who is who in this scene. Nobody likes shaky cam. I don't understand why Hollywood keeps shoving it down our throats. Bad Hollywood! Stop that Hollywood! This movie also uses non-linear storytelling, which can work. There are some people who know how to do it very well. Christopher Nolan comes to mind. It does not work in this movie. The film jumps all over when it comes to chronology, and Berg will edit, like, two different concurrent conversations and an action scene all together at the same time, and it just becomes a muddled mess. Honestly, with another polish on the screenplay, not editing so fast, letting the fight sequence breathe, this could have been a pretty decent action flick. But unfortunately, the way it was delivered, the final product, did not work for me at all. Now, I don't have a proprietary rating system as of yet, so I'm just trying to figure out what I'm going to give Mile 22. And I think I'm gonna give Mile 22 a... out of 10. So now I want to know, have you seen Mile 22? What did you think about it? What is your favorite Mark Wahlberg performance of all time? What are your thoughts in the comments below? Let's discuss. If you enjoyed this review, please smash that like button and give it a share if you really liked it. And hey, why not take a second, do me a favor, click subscribe and ring that bell to subscribe to my channel for more movie reviews, entertainment news, trailer reactions, all that good stuff. Thanks very much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.